The Italian Space Agency will soon have its first female astronaut in orbit. Samantha Cristoforetti, who joined ESA's astronaut corps in 2009, will be launched to the International Space Station from Baikonur in Kazakhstan. She has a background in mechanical engineering and aeronautical science and is an experienced fighter pilot with the Italian Air Force. Her upcoming mission will begin and end with flights to and from Earth in the Russian Soyuz capsule, a highly reliable design which stems from the 1960s. Conditions inside the Soyuz are cramped and sometimes uncomfortable, but this part of the mission only lasts for a few hours. Once on board the ISS, there's plenty of room for a crew to live and work in. It's true, it's six of us up there, but the space station is so big that you're, if you want, you're going to find uh, space for yourself. And we've, we've known each other now for several years, so I think we'll be able to understand one another, we'll be able to respect that personal space. So it's not something I'm too worried about. Known as the Futura mission, her stay in orbit will last around six months. And with the ISS now well into its utilization phase, the main objective will be to gather new data for researchers back on the ground. We are looking, of course, to doing a lot of science. That's our main purpose up there. Um, a lot of human physiology. So the, the scientists, the principal investigators, are taking baseline data from me to compare it with what they're going to get in flight and what they're going to get after flight. Futura will be the eighth long-duration mission to the space station for an ESA astronaut. Alexander Kirst from Germany arrived on board in May 2014, becoming a member of the permanent ISS crew. When Samantha Cristoforetti takes over his role, she'll play a major part in the many complex operations needed to sustain life in orbit. Supply logistics are crucial, relying on a fleet of unmanned spacecraft coordinated by both the ground teams and onboard crew. In our flight, we're also going to see several visiting vehicles, uh, for sure, of course, uh, the Russian progress, but also we're going to see um, multiple Cygnus and Dragon spacecraft. And uh, that, of course, requires uh, robotic activity. So we are training for this called uh, track and capture. That means that when those vehicles come up to the station and start to fly information with the station, we're going to fly the robotic arm to go and grab them and then attach them to the station. But one of these cargo vehicles holds particular significance for ESA. Launched in July, the fifth and last of the European automated transfer vehicles is currently attached to the station. The ATVs have been servicing the ISS since 2008, delivering supplies, removing waste, and reboosting the station into a higher orbital path. Samantha will be overseeing the undocking of this final vehicle, marking the end of an era. I think it will be quite an emotional moment for me and for the entire uh, ESA community and especially the, the ATV community on the ground and uh, I, I'm actually honored that I'll be on board for that and very happy that a European astronaut will be on board to, to send on its way the, the last ATV, Georges Lemaitre, um, and uh, wrap up this very, very successful program. From launch to landing, Samantha Cristoforetti's international training program has prepared her for every eventuality. Like all long-duration missions, Futura will be complex and demanding, but also an exciting landmark in this new astronaut's career. It's going to be a busy time up there, but um, you know, I'm, I'm sure we're also going to have some free time, so um, I'll obviously enjoy um, taking pictures and um, I hope to be um, very active on social media and be able to share this experience as much as possible. As Samantha Cristoforetti prepares for her inaugural mission, many on the ground look forward to sharing her experience. And the international scientific community gets ready to receive more valuable data from orbit. <laughs>